What is up, space pirates? This is your captain, the devilishly debonair Dr. Disaster, and I have interesting news from the bowels of hell, er, I mean Lucasfilm. It sounds as if the Patty Jenkins Star Wars Rogue Squadron film has, after all, not been canceled. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? This is just another example of the absolute lack of vision at Lucasfilm. I swear, every other day there's a new movie being announced or another project being cancelled. On this channel, it is literally my job to keep up with all the news swirling around, but with Kathleen Kennedy in charge of the studio, that is practically impossible. It's almost as difficult as trying to keep track of their stories, which have me simultaneously scratching my head and suppressing my yawns. I am certain that this is one more film that, if it does end up being made, it will be absolutely lousy with the girl power BS, just like everything they put out from Disney. At this point, I'm left asking only one question. How can anyone be so pathetic? Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But on to the news, which comes to us from the website Cosmic Book News, link in the description. The headline says, Patty Jenkins back on Star Wars Rogue Squadron. The Patty Jenkins Star Wars Rogue Squadron movie is back on. Jenkins explains in a recent interview that she left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3, but since Wonder Woman 3 isn't happening, she has returned to Star Wars. Back in March of 2023, Variety reported both the Patty Jenkins Rogue Squadron and the Kevin Feige Star Wars movies were shelved and were no longer in active development. While it was assumed the projects were simply cancelled, at least for Patty Jenkins, apparently that is not the case. I don't care! Seriously, nobody cares about this anymore. They announced this film like four or five years ago. Even if they started writing right now, it would be at least another three years before we saw it in theaters. People don't give a shit about Star Wars any longer, let alone this particular project. But it seems as though Kathleen Kennedy still labors under the delusion that Star Wars still has cinematic firepower, because it sounds as though things could still be gung-ho. Apparently, we're getting this new information from a podcast that Patty Jenkins was on recently. Cosmic Book News has the transcript for what she said here. It says, When I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3, and I went and started working on that, we talked about, okay, maybe I'll come back to Star Wars after Wonder Woman 3, so we did a deal for that to happen, started a deal, but I thought I was doing Wonder Woman 3. So when Wonder Woman 3 then went away, Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, you gotta finish this deal. We finished the deal right as the strike was beginning, so I now owe a draft of Star Wars, and so we will see what happens there, like, who knows, they have a hard job in front of them of what's the first movie they're going to do. They have other directors that are working, but I am now back on doing Rogue Squadron, and we'll see what happens. We need to get it to where we're both super happy with it. If you're suffering as much as I am, please tell me. Yes, we are all suffering, as we have to deal with watching these buffoons at Lucasfilm, throwing crap at the wall to see what sticks. Seriously, I suspect that at times they put this information out into the world to see how we all react, and things get cancelled often because the internet reacts so badly to their stupid ideas. 
This reminds me of the sequel trilogy from last freaking decade. That's how long this sort of stupidity has been going on. They had no plan back then, no purpose, beyond putting a bunch of pretty CGI and legacy actors on screen and slapping the Star Wars label on it. They have an idea of what they want Star Wars to be. They want it to mean something to the fan base like it did when George Lucas ran things, but the problem is these aren't artists at Lucasfilm. They're barely even professionals. These are propagandists who want the glory and who want to social engineer the world so that girls watch Star Wars as much as boys. Well, I hate to break it to you, Cupcakes, but that ain't happening. As I've said many, many times on this channel, obviously there are girls who do watch this sort of thing, but the overwhelming majority of these kind of sci-fi, superhero action films, the majority of the people who watch those are dudes. We like explosions and fighting and stuff like that. Girls like other things. Girls like things like Barbie. So if you make a movie like Barbie, it's going to do gangbusters like Barbie did last year. And if you made a Star Wars movie or like an Indiana Jones movie that was actually made for guys and you weren't trying to shoehorn the girl power stuff into it, that would probably do well. But what doesn't do well is something like The Marvels, where you try to shoehorn girl power nonsense into the superhero genre and then act all surprised and confused when nobody comes to see it. Or Madam Web, there's another example of that. Madam Web, another superhero movie where they shoehorned girl power crap into the movie and nobody went to see it. Or hell, we could talk about The Mandalorian Season 3. In The Mandalorian Season 3, they tried to replace Din Djarin with Bo-Katan. They went out of their way to make Bo-Katan the new hero and once again, nobody wanted to watch the damn show. But Lucasfilm is bound and determined to break that mold. From a corporate perspective, I suppose that strategy may have made sense at the beginning. They likely thought, hey, the guys are already in love with this Star Wars stuff. If we can get the girls on board, that'll double the potential earning power of Star Wars. But by changing the product into this immutable, characteristic, obsessed thing that only vaguely resembles the Star Wars that we grew up with, they lost a large chunk of their audience. And honestly, that's why they aren't sure of what they're even doing with The Mandalorian any longer. I keep hearing rumors that Season 4 is essentially cancelled to make way for The Mandalorian and Grogu movie. What a shit show that has been. The first two seasons of that show were the hottest thing on TV. Jon Favreau created something special. Many of us saw it as the miracle that might save the franchise. And then Kathleen Kennedy and her crew of acolytes got a hold of it. And Book of Boba Fett and season three of that show ripped all hope for Star Wars to pieces as they went on this long, contrived series of events to put Bo-Katan at the center of the story in place of Din Djarin. Put a chick in it, make her gay! Well, that's why I'm certain that this Patty Jenkins Star Wars film will suck royal ass if it hits theaters. They don't know how to make Star Wars material at Lucasfilm any longer. They haven't for a long time now, but I will leave it there. What do you think? Will this movie even be made? And if it is made, how much will it stink? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below and we'll talk about it there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.